How would you describe what you bring to the cage? I bring excitement. <laughs> you, won't, you, know, you won't be disappointed if you come and watch me. I mean, everybody say, say it. I always bring excitement. I basically I fight for crowd. I like to hear them like, cheer and be happy. Hello! George St. Pierre believes gymnastics is the best form of functional training. If you pair that with dance cultures typically having a higher concentration of elite strikers, perhaps due to their thicker cerebellum decreasing the awareness of the body's faster problem-solving ability due to the thicker corpus colossums orchestrating their bodies to a beat, it thus also improves sense of timing and rhythm. When we look at Mark Diakisi, he's obviously doing all of that. Breakdance, gymnastic feats as functional training, and if you combine them with the fact he's full of passion, always smiling inside and outside the ring, and his mind is calm at the same time, ready to smash you with bone crushing killer intent. This man is an unpredictable flow state fighter who to my knowledge is doing everything right. Actually, to be honest, I feel like this dude is sub to my channel, because it's eerie how congruent he is with all the stuff I talk about. But then again, I, it's probably coincidence and I'm just imagining things, so let's continue. If not, give me a shut up, man. <laughs> Mark has devastating KO power, perfectly transferring the explosive conditioning from his gymnastics into his fist. He can beautifully mix it up with an onslaught of practical and flashy kicks, making him very difficult to read and adapt to. He's a purple belt in jiu-jitsu, so he can confidently throw his arsenal of practical and aerial kicks with more confidence. And perhaps partly due to his obvious dance influences paired with traditional training. His sense of timing for those knockout counter punches and just overhands in general is incredible. Mark is undefeated for a reason. Born 1993, 24 years of age currently, to already be a warrior of this caliber it's obvious. He's a world class athlete whose rampage is only beginning. All of that being said, let's break down his fight with Timu Pakalan. Mark opens up with a leg kick, then jumps back to a healthy distance, then engages with a beautiful 360 back kick. Note how he feints a side kick with his right leg to create distance and guys the real left back kick. The athleticism and awareness of his body is incredible. He finishes with his arms down, smiling, taunting Timu. Mark is calm, confident Timu is feeling the pressure, eats a spinning back kick clean and hits up against the cage from the sheer force. These kicks need distance to execute, and Timu understands this. He not only has begun to really respect those kicks, there's actually an element of fear in play now. He doesn't want to take any more of those, and thus stifles the distance Mark needs for his next kick, the jumping switch kick. Mark tests Timu one more time with an oblique kick to the leg, and now he's certain. Timo is chasing him in fear of those kicks, exactly where he wants Timu. Mark runs with his explosive mobility, looking for the distance and timing for his overhand counter. Abruptly stops for him to feel Timu's reaction. Timu steps back. He continues to move back as Timu chases, waiting. Timu feints his left hand, and in that moment, that gymnastic explosion from the ground up, Mark transfers that explosion from his legs into a devastating overhand. He pushed a button. He literally pushed an off button, and Timu just went limp mid-air. He's frozen. It's like Sub-Zero hit him with an ice blast. He got straight up. Iced. Lightweight division is freaking stacked. This is a new era of warriors we're witnessing, and man, I'm excited about this evolution of hand-to-hand -hand combat. With now this man, Mark Diakisi, being part of that reason why. Thank you, UFC. Thank you all the warriors of the UFC, all the warriors of the world period, and thank you to everyone watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. It's good karma, and until next time, peace. No, I knew I was going to finish him, I said first round, but you know, the sneaky only just missed. It was close, but only just missed, but my right hand is always there. As soon as I did the spinning kick, I know it's not coming forward because I got worried and I knew I was going to catch him coming in.